Hi, my name is Robin Wong and this is the new Olympus MZuiko 12 to 45 mil f4 Pro lens. This is the smallest lens in the Olympus Pro lens lineup. I've had this loaner from Olympus Malaysia for more than one week now. I've done a series of tests with this lens and I cannot wait to share my photographs and my findings with you beautiful people. Let's do this. As usual, before we go further, here are some important disclaimers. I am currently an Olympus visionary, an ambassador to the Olympus brand. I do not own this 12 to 45 mm lens. The lens was a loaner unit from Olympus Malaysia and will be returned after this review purposes. My review is subjective. There is no technical data, no technical analysis. You will not see any graphs or charts or comparisons. What I'm sharing here is based purely on my experience using the Olympus 12 to 45 Pro lens in my photography. I share from my experience as a photography enthusiast using Olympus cameras as well as a working professional photographer. With that out of the way, let's get started. I think the question that a lot of people are asking is why is Olympus releasing another standard zoom lens since Olympus already has the two great standard zoom lenses such as the 12-40 f2.8 Pro and the 12-100 f4 Pro. I think to keep in spirit in line with the micro four-third system that champions the small and lightweight system, the 12-45 Pro Lens is currently the smallest Pro Lens from Olympus lineup. And I'm sure the smaller size and lighter weight matches the smaller Olympus bodies such as the EM10 series and the EM5 series. While I do admit that there is an overlap when it comes to focal length coverage between these lenses, Choices is not a bad thing. We have the 12 to 100 for versatility, giving you a 24 mil to 200 mil coverage. You have the 12 to 40 f2.8 bright aperture. The f2.8 bright aperture is for those who need the shallower depth of field and to shoot more in low light conditions. And now, if you want to get the 12 to 45 f4 Pro, it is still an incredible lens, but it is small and it's more compact and it matches the smaller bodies of Olympus cameras if you have them. Taking a quick glance at the specifications of the Olympus Enzuiko 12-45 Pro lens. The lens being a pro-grade lens is made of metal, it is fully weather sealed, it is splash, dust and freeze resistant. The lens has an equivalent coverage of 24 to 90 mil in terms of 35 mil full frame coverage and it has a constant f4 aperture opening throughout the entire zoom range. The lens does not have internal zoom, meaning that when you zoom from wide to telephoto range, the lens does extend out. The lens, however, does have internal focusing mechanism, meaning that the front element doesn't rotate when autofocus is performed. This is a good news for those of you who do use polarizer filter in front of the lens. The 12 to 45 mm lens has an elaborate optical design. It has two high refractive lenses, one dual super spherical lenses, one super high refractive lens, two spherical lenses, and two extra low dispersion lenses. And the lens weighs at only 254 grams on its own. I have been shooting with the Olympus 12-45 Pro lens in various situations last week. I have also tested the 12-45 Pro lens with the newly launched Olympus EM1 Mark III. If you have watched the video or read my blog article, you may have seen some of the photographs taken with the 12-45 mm lens. If you have missed my EM1 Mark III review, you may check out the video. I will put up the video up here. The Olympus 12-45 mil lens, like all other pro lenses, is very well constructed. It feels really solid, really reassuring in hand, there are no creaky parts, and the size and weight of the lens matches any Olympus OMD camera bodies perfectly. I particularly treasure the smaller size and I think that it matches the smaller camera bodies such as my EM5 Mark III perfectly. 
Therefore, I have shot a series of the test images with my own Olympus EM5 Mark III. When it comes to optics quality, the 12 to 45 mm is a great performer. When I look at the image quality, when I inspect the sharpness of the images captured with the 12 to 45 Pro lens, it reminds me of the similar quality attained from the 12 to 100 f4 Pro. In fact, if you were to put side by side an image taken with the 12 to 45 and an image taken with 12 to 100, I think it will be very difficult for me to tell apart which lens was used for which image. From 12 mil wide to 45 mil wide, the images are incredibly sharp. The amount of detail captured is amazing. It is sharp from corner to corner, and the images exhibit high amount of micro contrast. Just like the 12 to 100 f4 Pro, I have a feeling that the 12 to 45 Pro lens is also slightly sharper than the 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro lens. This is unverified. I haven't done a standard side by side test between the 12 to 45 Pro and the 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro. If you want me to do a video to compare these two lenses, please let me know in the comments below. That will require a lot of effort, a lot of time, but hey, if a lot of you have sent in the request for me to do it, I will just make it happen. I'm tremendously happy with the images that came out with the 12 to 45 Pro. I like that the images are really, really sharp. In fact, I think the sharpness are almost equivalent to the sharpness that we can attain from the prime lenses such as the 45 1.8 or the 17 and 25 f1.8 lenses from Olympus. That says a lot considering this is a zoom lens, this is not a prime lens and that it can achieve similar output in comparison to prime lenses. In terms of technical flow control, I think Olympus employs software correction, meaning that you will not see excessive distortion, or the distortion, or the chromatic aberration, or the corner softness. They are fully corrected in camera by Olympus. If you shoot in JPEG, if you shoot in RAW, the information will be stored in the RAW file, and your RAW post-processing software will be able to read this information and apply it to the image when you do post-processing in your computer. I don't see any trace of chromatic aberration, I don't see any trace of distortion, I don't see any hint of corner softness or vignetting. Everything is well controlled. Just like any other Olympus Pro lenses, the lens is very flare resistant. I have shot against strong source of light, I don't see any flare issues. Even if there is any, it shouldn't be a worry. When it comes to shallow depth of field, please do not expect miracles, especially when it comes to a lens with only constant f4 aperture and a focal length from 12 to 45. However, if you can get really close to your subject, close enough, you can still render some background blur, isolating your main subject from the background effectively. And the quality of the blur, the bouquet quality is Excellent. You get that typical signature Olympus creamy, blurry, dreamy background. It is buttery smooth and the background is not distracting, especially if you inspect the out of focus area. I personally think that the 12 to 45 Pro lens makes a wonderful product photography lens. If you don't need too much of a close focusing distance, if you don't need that high magnification, if you do, why are you not using a macro lens? Even at constant aperture at 4, I have zoomed in all the way to the telephoto end of 45 mil. I can still get some blurry background for some of my portrait shots as well as my product shots. When it comes to close-up shooting, the 12 to 45 Pro is no slouch. It can achieve 0.25 times magnification. When it comes to full frame format equivalent, it is actually 0.5 times. That is half of a true macro specification. Being able to go up really close to the subject opens up a whole lot of possibilities when it comes to photography opportunities. Being able to go really close to the subject allows you to reveal incredible amount of details for the subject that you're trying to capture. Also, going close to the subject, the close-up performance of the lens is incredible. This is not the case for other camera brands and models. Those lenses may be sharp in general shooting, but when it comes to close-up shooting, the images usually come out soft and lack in contrast. I'm very glad to see that in Olympus 12 to 45 Pro lens, even at extreme close-up, you still get the same level of incredible image quality. 
There is one particular decision that I do not agree with Olympus when it comes to the 12 to 45 Pro lens. I don't understand why Olympus removed the manual focusing clutch mechanism from the 12 to 45 Pro lens. They have included the manual focusing clutch for almost all their Pro lenses and in some of their Prime lenses. I think the manual focusing clutch is a genius implementation. It allows a quick switch to manual focus and there is the focusing distance scale indicator on the lens itself which allows for quick adjustment when it comes to manual focusing. Another feature that is also missing from the 12-45 Pro lens is the lens function button. Most of the Olympus Pro lenses has a dedicated button which can be customized for any other function that you want. You can change the ISO, change the roll to JPEG, change the focusing modes, activate focus peaking, change metering modes. You can do a lot with that one programmable button and I think having one button on the lens makes perfect sense. For whatever reason, Olympus decided not to include it in the 12-45 Pro lens. I don't think that the reason of keeping the lens as small as possible makes it impossible to include these two features. The manual focusing clutch has been in all the Olympus small tiny prime lenses. I don't see how it cannot be implemented on the 12 to 45 Pro, which is not smaller than any of the prime lenses. And the one tiny button is so small that it can be placed anywhere on the lens body. Maybe Olympus intentionally excluded these two features to separate them from the higher end 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro and the 12 to 100 f4 Pro lenses. It is just my guess. I can also anticipate the question of hey, why didn't Olympus include the image stabilization in the 12 to 45 Pro lens, just like what they did in the 12 to 100 Pro lens, allowing the 5 axis sync IS working hand in hand, the lens image stabilization and the camera body's 5 axis image stabilization. I don't see the need for image stabilization to be built into the lens when the coverage is so wide. It is after all from 12 to 45 mil and I think that the Olympus cameras, the OMD's 5 axis image stabilization is already effective and powerful enough to cover such short focal range. The lens image stabilization, the 2 axis IS that is included in the 12 to 100 f4 pro and the 300 f4 pro is specifically made to correct movements on the lens at the far telephoto end the 12 to 45 mil being a short lens does not require that much compensation hence the 506 is in the omd body is sufficient after all, if Olympus decided to include the image stabilization in the 12 to 45 mil Pro lens, that would have made the lens larger than what it is. I really like the fact that Olympus continues to make lenses that is extremely high of quality with almost no compromise when it comes to optical performance, delivering fantastic, sharp images, images that are professional grade. If you have the Olympus Kit Lens 1442 that comes with the Olympus Pan cameras or the EM10 series camera, the new 12 to 45 mm Pro is a huge step up from the 1442 kit lens. Not only it starts wider at 12 mm end versus 14, every mil counts when it comes to the wider end of the lens coverage. The 12 to 45 mm is also much sharper delivering better image quality in comparison to the 14 to 42 mil kit lens. The 12 to 45 mil lens is also a pro grade lens. It is better sealed and the build quality is also superior in comparison to the 14 to 42 kit lens. If you already have the 12 to 40 f2.8 pro lens, it is a little bit tricky. I don't see a need for you to get another 12 to 45 mil lens. And I know a lot of you have the 12 to 40 f2.8 pro. I also have that lens and that is an incredible lens. I've made a video talking about that lens recently. You can check out the video here if you have not. The 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro lens is not any worse than the 12 to 45 mil lens. The 12 to 40 lens is still a great lens. If you have one, keep it. There is no need for you to get the 12 to 45 Pro lens. Also, if you already have the 12 to 100 Pro lens, I also don't see a need why you should get a 12 to 45 mil lens unless a smaller and more compact form factor is your priority and you need it to match a smaller camera body that you have, such as an Olympus EPL9 or the EM10 series camera. 
as I've mentioned before, it is good to have choices. And if you want to keep your footprint as minimal and as tiny as possible, the 12 to 45 Pro matches the EM5 Mark III, the EM10 Mark III, and the EPO9 perfectly. Being so much smaller and so much lighter, it can be a truly one lens to do it all solution. It is a general all purpose lens. It does incredibly well in anything that it shoots. You can get incredibly sharp images on landscapes, portraits, products, anything you throw at it. And in combination with the Olympus 5 axis image stabilization in any OMD cameras, you do get a very versatile yet very small system. Like any other Olympus Pro lenses, the 12 to 45 Pro doesn't really have any noticeable weakness. The optical performance is incredible. It delivers fantastic image quality. I get sharp results again and again, and I'm amazed at every single photograph that I'm taken with the 12 to 45 Pro lens. I also personally believe that the 12 to 45 Pro lens is best matched with the smaller camera bodies from Olympus, such as the new EM5 Mark III. I personally believe believe that the 12 to 45 Pro lens should have been released together with the EN5 Mark III a few months ago. That would have made much better sense. It is quite an incredible fact that Olympus managed to create such a small lens, yet delivering image quality that is truly amazing. After all, that's what the Micro Four Third system truly stands for. That's all I have to share about the new Olympus M Zuiko 12 to 45 mm f4 Pro lens. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have questions about the new 12 to 45 Pro lens, please leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. I will definitely make more videos, especially about Olympus products in this channel. Please stay tuned. Until the next one, remember to go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.